But I can't because some creatures have turned the graveyard into their nest. Could you do me a favor and go there in my stead? She shouldn't be alone today. It'll cost you. That's fine, that's fine. The graveyard's right by the head of the river. But I heard they put a new gate in recently to replace the old broken one. Now that those creatures have moved in, I'm sure it's locked up tight. Didn't we buy a graveyard key off Moggy? I think we did. There's also a chance of rain in some area. Punch through. Right. We gotta hurry. Get him! That'll do. Any time now. That's it! You're done. This one's for you! Let's do this. No more playing. Ah! That's that. One more shot! It's over. See ya. Cut! <laughs> this must be it. Hey, you wanna say a prayer too? No thanks. I think you've got it covered. I'm really grateful for what you did. Here's your reward. I owe him a lot. Maybe more than I can ever repay. And now, I owe you a lot, too. I know it's not much, but I hope it makes up for it a little bit. We paid our respects to your wife. And we took care of those creatures. Oh, that's such a relief to hear. I can't tell you how much it was weighing on my mind. I was beginning to think I might never be able to visit her grave again. With my bad back and my legs, my whole body's a mess, frankly. I... I didn't think I could make it past the creatures. But I was prepared to die trying. And then you two came along. Still, I've got to face facts. Creatures or no, I can't keep making these trips. Don't say that. This is the graveyard key. Run it back to Moggy. But I just told you about my legs. Why don't you just give it back? Okay. It'll cost you 5,000 gil, though. 5,000? It's always money with you people. <laughs> Fine. I won't ask you for anything else. I'll take your damned key and give it to the boy. <sighs> it's downright depressing. What is the world coming to these days? We're looking at another cloudy day in Midgar, with overcast skies through tomorrow. Across the line. Mercy. 
mercenary got her out of the jam. I've got this. Don't you mean we've got this? Enough. Not bad. This isn't a game. Focus. Trust me, I'm focused. Best do it right. Take the lead. Get him! And catch! This one's for you! Who needs more magic? Too bright? Let's Another! You jittery? Deal with that. Sure. However I can help. It's your turn. Taking over. Get him! Take the lead. That wasn't... That's Hang back. much better. No way! I should probably... Get out! Do it. I'll take care of them. Too bright? One more shot! Take it over. Mind backing off a bit. Guardian Angel of the Slums will collect your offering on behalf of the poor. This must be one of her calling cards. I don't see anything else interesting. Let's head back and tell him what we found. Believe it, you found one of her calling cards! This is the genuine article, I'm sure of it! Pinned by the angel herself! Hmm... So this is one of her famous warnings. It's an incredible find! Oh, was that all? Hold on. Looks like there's something else. A message. 
to the nosy Shinra reporter sniffing around. I was planning to teach you a lesson you would never forget. However, by the grace of your mercenary friend, you were spared that lesson. But next time he might not be around to save you. You would be wise to watch your step. Not just a message from the angel. A warning. If the Merc here hadn't bailed you out, that fiend in the scrap would have ripped you to shreds. <sighs> Sorry about that, friend. Here I was, just trying to help you out. But instead, my kindness almost got you violently killed. Now, now. <laughs> no harm, no foul, right? In any case, I hope this narrowly averted tragedy won't discourage you from sharing information with me in the future. Hey, everybody! The angel left another calling card! She's gonna rip off Don Corneo! It's about damn time! Don Corneo's no easy mark! I can't wait to see how this goes down! Excuse me, I'm a reporter for the Daily Buzz and... So much for my reward. Here, why don't you take this? Oh, and no need to thank me. Let's just say it slipped out of that reporter's bucket. <laughs> can't call it theft if you're just claiming what you're owed. Am I right? Well done, Mr. Merc. You certainly lived up to your reputation. We probably ought to call it a day. Getting late, huh? You've been working so hard you lost track of time. Had to. The pace sucked. Because they didn't know if you were worth it yet. But now they do. Come on, let's go home. Now, what could our angel want from a man like Don Corneo, of all his many goodies? Or maybe she wants his whole fortune. Whoa! Ah! It's always a pleasure to speak with those... From the leaf house, like a ray of sunshine on a cloudy day. Hello, Aerith. What do you want? Haven't seen him before. He your new boy toy? He's my bodyguard, if you must know. Wait a minute. Those eyes. Is he the one who beat up Reno? And what if I am? Need to cross my T's, dot my I's, that's all. Cloud, leave him be. Rude's not a bad person, really. No, I'm not bad. But like it or not, I sometimes have to do bad things. <sighs> Don't take it personal. You Turks are all the same. Huh? All bark, no bite. You're one to talk. No need to get rough! Stay back! So it's my turn? Here it comes! You can do it! My turn. Can't you leave us alone? 